What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home. And I gotta just let you guys know right off the back because I didn't do a video for my thoughts on Endgame, which I should. I should just get that all out in the in the video to sum up my thoughts of the whole Marvel Universe after Endgame and my thoughts on what's gonna actually happen next. But one thing I was waiting for is the the, the stuff that we do know. Let that let that pass too as well. Like Spider-Man: Far From Home. Now, it's not due out in theaters for a while now, but I do think that a lot of the things that's going to take place in this movie, due to the fact of Endgame, may be kind of weird or whatever the fuck, is going to, it has a lot of explaining to do, a lot of like fitting in the timeline is going to need to kind of do. And I wonder how it's going to live again after Endgame and how these characters are going to live and stuff like that. So that's one thing I kind of want to I kind of want them to tell it before I like kind of make the prediction about it, because we do know about this movie in particular. And we do know we're probably going to get another Guardians or, you know, and stuff like that. But this one in particular felt really close to Endgame, the prologue after, like there's something going on as well after Endgame, and I felt like this one was kind of connected to it, you know, and I kind of want this movie to come out before I get my whole thoughts of the whole Marvel Universe of how it stands in 2019. With that being said, we have a brand new trailer to dive into. Let's do it. Let's jump into this Far From Home trailer from Spider-Man. Hit play. Let's go. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some spoiler warning. <laughs> if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, <laughs> cut off the video now. Give me a like. Peace. I'll see you later. Subscribe for more videos. When you watch Endgame, come back because, again, spoiler warning. I'm going to start it over. But Jesus Christ. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, <laughs> stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. But if yes. you have seen Avengers Endgame, enjoy the trailer. Okay. Everywhere I go, I see Oh, he got the... Really of course. Up. Of course. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. Ooh. Oh, we got the suit! <laughs> you gonna be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your jobs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm Keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. All right. <laughs> okay. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling you. Nick, really Nick Fury? Answer the phone. Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. <laughs> We're just talking about the trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo's. Oh! oh. Likes me. He snuffed him? In the nuts? You're a very Nick Fury. difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. <laughs> Let's this go! This is Mr. Beck. We could have used someone like you on my world. New world? Beck is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our hole in our dimension. You're what? Multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Multiverse? There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Yes, yes we've seen that suit in the space. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. What the fuck is that? Is that Sandman? Oh but it's like he's like using Stop different Stop elements. Stop putting my friends in danger. <laughs> The world needs the next Iron Man. Are you going to step up or not? Mm -hmm. Exactly, my nigga. Come on, let's go. Yo, that black suit is killer. Let's go. Look at the music. Yo. I gotta get you guys out of here. Get on the jet. Who are you? I work with Spider-Man. You work for Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. 
Oh, did you have gone down? Yo, we're getting the ultimate, like, yo, if you're a Spider-Man fan, like, between Spider-Man, even when he popped up in Civil War, the Far From Home one, Homecoming, the, the was the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, you got a lot of fucking lore and f fandom on your plate to eat up, to chew up. There is a lot for you. As a Spider-Man fan in 2019, oh my God, my eyes are like, I'm crying. But Jesus Christ, that trailer, Five out of five, let's just get it out of the way. Perfect trailer is a perfect way to kind of sum up what happened after Endgame and kind of, you know, give us a slice of the movie at the same time, get us ready for what the fuck is going to happen even after this movie. They're like, yo, Thor, nope. Thor, like, you know, he's gone, kind of leading into the, the idea of, you know, him being part of the other stuff. If you have, well, you, you being part of the Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever the fuck. And then, you know, Captain Marvel, not on the planet. Captain Marvel 2 probably gonna pop up. And it's just, oh, it's just all these like little breadcrumbs they throwing in. They threw it in this trailer, which is crazy. Cause that means there's probably even more in the fucking movie, which is gonna keep me excited. He said fucking multiverse. He, what? He's like, yo, there's a multiverse. He's, he's not from our earth. He's from the multiverse. Like there's a multi, oh my God. Cause they, if you think about it, they already kind of introduced the multiverse in Endgame. And I'm not going to get in too much into that again, but it's just like, <sighs> let's go. Let's get the multiverse in the fucking Marvel MCU in the movies. Yes, this is exactly what I want. Still a lot of questions to be answered as far as about this Mysterio and if he's from a different Earth, but not this Earth, how is that playing upon the one that is in this Earth or whatever the case may be? And maybe that's what they're fighting. I'm not too sure. They looked like they were fighting Sandman at one point in the trailer, but then that he looked like he had different elements. He had the fire, he had the thunder, he had the fucking... So it, it, it looks like they're kind of playing with that. At the same time, they're probably a different bad guy that I'm unknown about right now that I don't know about that's not... I just clicking in my fucking head but this trailer looks a fucking amazing and they just hit they just throw that they just throw the iron man you know spoiler alert they throw the iron man death in the beginning of the trailer to just like punch you in the fucking gut because it, it, it's something that he has to carry with him spider-man and it's gonna be a big part of the movie and it's just like the world feels it. Even the cops brought up Iron Man. It's just like, I think Fury brought up Iron Man. It's like, yo, the world is feeling, you know, after the death of Iron Man, damn, I fucking, like, I feel like I'm crying talking about it. But it's like, the world felt that death and is like now trying to not replace Iron Man, but filling in that gap, filling that hole because it's... It's like, you hear me talking about it. Like, that was my boy, man. Like, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not going to hold you guys for much longer. This trailer was amazing. It's not too much to fucking... Um, there is a lot to deep dive into it, but um, let's not do all that. Let me know what you think of this trailer, though, in the comment section below. Your thoughts, your rating out of five. Again, I'm going to give this a perfect rating of five out of five. The music was on point. The visuals, the stuff that we've seen looked at fucking A-OK. -okay. Um, the story beats, what they did drop did lead me enough to want to, again, if I had no clue of what this movie was going to be about before seeing it, I would definitely want to know. And, you know, there was a lot of, not huge surprises, but the, the surprises that were in this trailer, like them just punching us in the gut with that Iron Man death and just like, yo, Iron Man is dead. He died in Endgame, but this is what this movie is going to live without. And as, as emotional that was, that was a surprise. I didn't think they were going to take that, you know, use that and like put it in our faces for a trailer. <sighs> That's crazy. They didn't do that in Endgame. Endgame had the trailers. Yo, I got dislike bombed on my fucking Endgame trailer stuff because I was I was like, yo, where's the trailer? Is it giving us this bullshit? And you know what I'm saying? And then we, the trailers for Endgame were kind of, you know, lackluster with the surprises because they wanted to keep everything kind of a surprise for the, the movie, which I understand now looking back and watching the movie. But I feel like with this, they're putting everything on the table, but they're still holding back the surprises. So let's, I can't wait for this movie again. Ticket bought. Let me know if you're going to go see this in the theaters day one. I know I am. Peace. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.
Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.